Hey y'all, good morning. It's Friday, I think, yeah. Um, and I thought I'd get on here and just do a little talking. Um, this is Kelly, by the way, at Crochet Ma for Life. Uh, I hope everybody's having a, a good day, had a good week. Um, I thought I'd get on here and just do a little talking. I'll show you some things I've acquired this week and some things I'm working on. Y'all, I do not have any finished puddings. I don't. I've been crocheting, but I ain't getting nothing accomplished. I've been, I think I got what you call, um, I don't know. It's not start, it's start itis, but it's kind of start and just idle and, it's, you know, just poking along. So, but at least I'm here to do it, right? <laughs> so I, I got tagged in a video by Miss uh, Marsha at Mimi Mates Keepsakes. And so it's a 20 question tag. And I thought I would do that a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'll tell you anything new. but um, And I'm not really got stuff around me prepared for it. But as usual. But uh, you know, it is what it is. And um, we're just going to do some talking. Me and all my personalities. <laughs> So you never know what you're going to get. Let me pull up this bra strap. I can't stand it. But that's a woman's life, right? What are you doing, dog? Stop. She likes to hang out with me. Peanut. <clears throat> she has to nose around and stuff. Boo Boo's in there in her chair. Boo Boo, Boo we call her Boo Boo. She's Bella, Boo Boo, Bella, whatever. But we call her Boo Boo. I've had Boo Boo for <clears throat> 13 years, nearly. And so I think she's pushing about 14 and a half, 15 years old. And so she's not had a good week. She's not wanted to, to do a whole lot, you know. And um, I think they got into something out in the woods the other day. And, um... Peanut had some red bud bikes on her belly, I thought, or it might have been an ant, red fire ants, because we have fire ants bad here. I think Boo Boo might have sniffed around and got something in her mouth, but her mouth has been sore. So she's not been wanting to eat or drink like she usually does. But now she's picked up a little bit. She's been drinking some water the last few days, and um, she wants to eat, but she'll eat just out of the palm of my hand. So I don't know if she's getting doggy dementia or what, but yesterday I made some pork chops in the oven, and um, she's, she ate that really good, and uh, I fed her some of that this morning, and she's ate really good, and she's drank a lot, so I think whatever has been going on with her hopefully is passing. I dread the day that, I, that she crosses that bridge <clears throat> because she's been a faithful little companion. She's been the best dog ever. Peanut try my nerves, <laughs> but Peanut's a puppy, you know, and puppies do that, I reckon, but she's a good dog, too. She's real loving. She don't really like no strangers that pull up and come in the house. <clears throat> she takes to my grandbabies a little bit, Brinley especially, but otherwise, she don't really care for folks. <laughs> Her hair stands up like a hyena, you know, she has a little mohawk going on, uh, I'd let her in here and show you, but I'm surrounded. I really am. Of <laughs> stuff I want to show you. So, uh, I went off the ledge, y'all. <clears throat> and, um, I ordered some stuff. So, I thought I'd show you. I got some good deals on shipping. And sometimes when you get to do good deals on shipping, it draws you in. So, um, uh, last week I, I seen, um, I've been wanting to make Tudor fans, and so I've been wanting to use that Premier Fruits. So I went on Mary Maxim just looking around, and they had two ninety nine a skin. And, uh, of course, I really wasn't paying attention. I mean, I know sock yarn is small, right? But I wasn't really expecting it to be this small. <laughs> But they had it two ninety nine dollars a skein, so I ordered me three of each of these. I got the Blueberry Fruits. Blueberry, it's Premier Fruits, but it's called Blueberry. I got three of these, and these have, um, it's a one, 
I really super fine and Kelly really don't do super fine I don't got very many things here that's super fine um, unless I got it in a, a mystery box or something like that you know but um, but this is pretty super fine so I got me three of this colorway and each of these little skeins has um, 235 yards so I got three of them and I got three of um, this one is called plum I'm not going to take it out of the bag because Lord knows when I'll ever do it but I've got it this is um if I, if I use it, I'll show it, y'all. You know you, you know how you do. But this is a uh, plum. It's pretty. Um, that's that colorway. And I got <clears throat> three of this one. This is grape. I think, what did I pay for shipping? I think I paid $4.99 for... No, I got free shipping. So, um, I don't know if you could use this code, but it's a uh, <clears throat> MM free shipping dash RY20. All in capital letters. I don't know. You might could use it. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, so. Got me three of them. I got three of um, this one's called kiwi, and it's got some like some uh, taupes and some white cream and the green. I thought I thought that was really pretty. This is the color way that I really wanted, but I you know had to get the other ones because you know that's how you do it, right? This is ja this is called a dragon fruit. I've seen several people, especially Miss Julie. Hey, Miss Julie, KS Mom Crochet. She uh she's made she's made things with this, and uh, she's the one that made the Tudor fence. It's got me wanting to make one. <coughs> so yeah, that's that's that little haul. I did get some cotton. Because, you know, Jada and Stitches is, um, had a bucket hat. So I got some cotton. And it's all stuffed in this bag, what I got. I didn't get very many balls, but I've then tried using some. It's Premier Cotton. I paid two twenty nine dollars a skein. It's 96 yards. This colorway was a rainbow stripe. I like the Premier Cotton. I got some, um, it's, yeah, 131 yards out of this one from your home cotton. This is a pastel pink. My, my daughters want me to make her some um, dishcloths, but I want to make a bucket hat. I don't know. I want to make a lot of stuff. Fuchsia, and this is a, uh, a pastel aqua color. So I got it all stuffed in this Ella bag with a lot of other cotton. So <laughs> I love my Ella bags. So yeah, so that's one Mary Maxim haul. Of course, you know I got that free shipping. That was good. So I, you know. Dragon fruit, plum, grape, kiwi. Okay, I got all of them. I, did, I was double checking myself. I didn't want to be sorted. All right, so that's my one of my one of my Mary Maxim haul. They pulled me in this week. I hadn't ordered from Mary Maxim in probably about two years, really. I don't want to pay no fourteen ninety nine shipping, but when I see something that catches my eye and I get that free shipping code, I try not to go searching. I try not to, I try not to get on those sites. I really do. I try not to, here I go pulling this up again. I try not to get on those sites too much. Yes, 
I really wish I could quit getting on Amazon because they pulled me in with the books, but, um, and Joann's, so, but Joann's has been my go-to because they was quick, but Mary Maxim was super quick with this stuff now. I don't think it was five days and I got it, and that's pretty good because I remember sometimes waiting two weeks for Mary Maxim back when I ordered, but, you know, I, I want to do Tudor fans, so that's why I got sucked in, and so, um, I got in this little book right here I've got and um you know I love them little colorways what colorways was them it's just it just tells you try using self striping or variegated yarns for a really unique look so I don't know what the colorways but I sh they look like those those premier bloom colors so, yeah, so I'm making a small one, of course, because that yarn is super fine. So, I got it in this little bag I got from Timu. So, I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. You know, I, I seen it and I said, ooh, one super fine. So, I started. And I started using this uh, Dot Hooks 3, smallest hook I've ever used. And so, I've started. And it's super fine now. It really is super fine. But this is going to be the body. And so it's, it's not going to be long and I'll be decreasing or whatever. I'm, I'm getting there. It, you have to really... Okay, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not enjoying this yarn. But um, it's not my favorite yarn but it is a little it's it feels nice in my hands it's just small and um i got some big old fingers so i'm having to really watch what i'm doing like right now i got an extra stitch so or uh, uh yesterday or the day before yesterday i had uh, some extra stitches and i pulled it all back you know from where i needed to but i'm not gonna keep on doing that i've got to get myself straighten out. Y'all like my little stitch marker? <laughs> That's cute, ain't it? Miss Jane, I, I got me a bag for Miss Jane I'm gonna show you, and uh, she always sends some tea and a stitch marker. Ain't that cute? I love it. So, yeah, I don't know when you're gonna see old Tudor France, because um, it's a process. But, yeah, it's, it's such a process. Excuse me. It's all fitting right now in this little bitty old sack. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my one little whip I'm working on. So, I'm going to put my... Anyway, I'm going to put it right here. All right, my next um, next whip, and I'm going to show you some other stuff. Where am I at? 13 minutes. Oh, Lord, I got to get on the ball. Well, here's my bag I got from Miss Jane. She had her bags on sale. And we had went on a road trip one time, and we was on Route 66. And so I had to get this bag. Uh, Miss Jane, she does so good. She's, she's so talented. It smells so good, and it's pressed. And um, she puts a little thing of tea and a stitch marker in it. And I just love it. So the inside of it's got her little tag. Miss Jane at Scraptastic Yarns, y'all. Miss Jane was the very first one to ever shout me out. And um, I just love watching her. I may not comment on everybody's videos, but I definitely watch Miss Jane because I love her little what in tarnations, you know, and I love her. Sometimes she'll go on a rant, and I love listening to her. I I just love Miss Jane. And um, anyway, I love this bag. So I had to get it. It was on sale. So my next whip I'm going to show you, I told y'all about, I was working on this dragon. And dra this dragon has a billion parts. Comes out of this book. Uh oh, I'm fixing to lose my paper clip. Anyway, let me get this out. Probably tore that paper clip up. I'm making this dragon, Elio. This is a great little book. I, I'm enjoying this book. Very easy instructions. It was designed by uh, D.Y.I. Fluffy's Mariska Vosbolum. And um, so 
but like I said, it's got a lot of parts. I quit counting at 27. So I have made, let me get my paper clip back stuck back in here. I have made the body. Let's just show you. And I'm, ma I'm making it in red heart yarn, lavender. Here's the body so far. I've got the tail made. I think that's lavender. I'm pretty sure. I've got one haunch. I'm fixing to lose some parts here. I've got one haunch, haunch made. It goes down here on the, on the legs. I've got the muzzle made. I'm working on another haunch. I've got the little nostrils made. They're stuck in the, the thing. And um, I've got the ears made. So all these parts are going to go right now in my Miss Jane bag. And, and you know what I'm going to do in my Miss Jane bag? I'm going to put the hook and a row counter. Because I'm tired of uh, trying to get my brain to, to get everything out when they're supposed to be. So right now, all that's going in the Miss Jane bag. See it, y'all? Y'all with me? And uh, I'm organizing right off the bat. So let me get me a row counter. I think I'm gonna use this um, pinkin. I got these off Timu. These are really nice. I'm going to put that in here, and I'm going to put my dot hook, and it's a, um, a 4.5. It's going in here. What's this one? This is a 5.0. I'm hoping I'm using the right hook. I think I might need to put this one in here. See? That's what happens. You need to just get yourself organized, Kelly Dawn. All right, so all this is going in here in the book. All right, and all this is going back in my little storage box. I've had to clean it this morning. Back in there. Okay, the Tudor pants, it's going in here. All right, so that's my whips. That's my whips. Oh, I got one more to you. show you. This is a Dalton wanted me to make Gringar. So, uh, and it comes out of Pokemon. I've made, po I've made, um, him, um, you know, the, uh, I've got it up there, but I ain't getting up. Um, a poke. I've made him Pokemon before. Y'all have seen it a long time ago. But I'm making Gringar. And, um, I've got the body made. Here's the body. I think it's some Premier, not Premier, Bernat, something other. I got it to Ollie's. It just wants to catch everything. Having to pull off fuzzies and stuff. But anyway, I got the body made. So, it's going in my Alabama bag that Miss Mirren made me. Roll Tide. And, um, I got me the roll counter in there. I'm going to put the book in there. And, um, I'll probably need to put a hook. I can't I hardly remember. Let's just put, let's just, let's just worry about that in a little bit. We won't worry about that right now. So that's my other whip. So I'm going to put that in my box. So yeah, that's my, that's my whips and my little mail from Mary Maxim to show you my whips and my cotton yarn. All right. <clears throat> Yesterday I got some happy mail from my friend, Miss Mirren. She ordered me this book. Miss Julie's been showing it, and she she enabled us. Miss Miss Julie, you enabled me. Mary and I already had this one, but she ordered this one for me, so I was really appreciated of that. Now I've already found one thing that I'm going to make. I am one day. I like the little hair, Milo the hair. Ain't he just cute? It's really 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 cute. So maybe I can make him cute. But this has this was really a great price for this book, so um, yeah, it's got a lot of cute things. Miss Julie has a book look 
at KS Mom Crochet. I'll link that video if anybody is interested. She really does a great job with, with uh, book reviews. But on the back, it shows all these. It's got some stickers on it. I might have to try to get that off later. So, yeah. Thank you, Mary. I love it. Love it, love it. I'm going to put that in there because, you know, I'm going to be looking at it over and over and over again this week. All right. So, I'm at 20 minutes. But well, y'all want to see where I went off the ledge. I just totally went off the ledge. Mary and Maxim had these kits. And, uh, you know, I, I want to do like KK at K&K Crochet because uh, she loves Christmas. And uh, I want to get, you know, I can't never decide on what I want to make. So I've been seeing these forever and a day. So they sent me a coupon or something. I got um, $4.99 shipping or something. I don't know. I got some kind of deal. Let's look at it. Uh... Oh, one item, 20% off, 25% off. But who can pass that up? And um, I got $4.99 shipping. So <clears throat> I paid $47 for these two kits. All right, first kit I got, y'all seen it with me for the first time too. I've got North Pole Friends. This one was $19.99. And you get all the yarn in it. Look at all that. Let's see. I, I, I'm hesitant about opening it, y'all. But I'm going, I'm going to. Because I want to look at the pattern. But it's got red heart yarn. And the color soft white. Okay. I don't even think I got that color right here. Imagine that. I, they sent me some of this stuff. Um, several of these things. This colorway. Let me see if I can get the pattern out. Alright, they sent this pattern. It says, Kit makes two as shown. It says, almost intermediate. Those little things. All right, so that little, that part right there, the tweed looking color, it goes on this stuff, this white one's feet and the horns. Okay, I got some um, safety eyes in there. I don't think they put no hook in here, because Lord knows I ain't hooked, hooked for it. So it's got all the stuff in here to make these two things. So that was neat. All right, so let me put all this back in here so I can try. I might have to put that in my box and just start working on it. Just get ahead of the ball game along with everything else I want to do, right? So this one was these. Ain't these cute? I love them. It's got, uh, we got some Mary Maxim yep, metal spun. Got various reds and yellows, you know, and a green. And then we got some Premier anti peeling. That colorway is white. So, yeah. And I'm sure it's got, yeah, it's got some safety eyes in there too. So, look, ain't that cute? I just, I just love that. So, let's hope I can get my brain settled down and I can make those. Maybe I could set a goal by July to make it. Who knows with me? I really, I just, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I am yeah, I'm out of what I am, I guess you might say. So, <clears throat> so then, you know, we had that solar eclipse. <laughs> and um, they always put these little, you know, deals. The Premier had a deal for free shipping. $48 minimum. <clears throat> and you know, their minimum is $75. And I think it's back up to $75. And I think I ordered this Monday. And I got it today. That is awesome. I've never had this. <clears throat> I ordered some from my sister-in-law. And she got her some. And I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. You know. But I ordered some um, Premier Basic 
DK. And these, each of these skeins, this colorway, by the way, is bubblegum. Um, for the most part, I think I just got one of each, but some of them I got multiples. But each of these, and it's soft, it's the three, a three light that has 306 yards. <clears throat> it says to use a four millimeter hook. You know, so it's really soft. I thought I might make some Annie's with this. But uh, this is made in Turkey. Oh, it gives you a tip. It says, buy enough of the same dye lot to complete project. If only I was that smart my whole yarn journey. <laughs> okay. It has, um, like I said, it had it's four, 306 yards. 100% acrylic. Um... And it's soft, so so I got this color. I've got a um, daffodil. I've got a um, petal pink. We've got some white. See, I, I got two of these because I thought if I made an amigurumi, I'm, I'm going to want to have some neutral colors, multiples of that. So, um, this is white of course we got us a um oh it says machine wash tumble dry warm okay this one is a uh, celery okay we got a um purple each of these was 2.99 i think pretty sure um, this colorway is uh, toasted almond. That would make pretty facial body color, you know, for a doll or something, you know. I got multiple of that one. Um, multiple of this one. This one is a uh, brown black. I don't know where they get that black. It ain't got no black in it, but it's brown. I don't understand that. Okay, we got a mustard. We got a bright aqua. We got a um, turquoise. I've got a um, nimbus. Nimbus. It's gray, y'all. Um, I've got this, uh, yellow, and I've got a, um, tangerine. So, oh, what is this? I've got another one. Well, there's more in here. I got to hide all this stuff before my husband gets home. Lilac. <clears throat> That's a pretty lilac. What's this? Did I show you this one already? Um, coral. So that's my DK. I'm excited about that. So uh, then they had, um, after I got the premier fruit, you know, I really want to do a Tudor fence in um, a four-way. So I ordered two of these. I hope it's enough. Each of these has 174 yards. I think I ordered just two. Yeah. It, could, it might take me more than two. I might have to order another one. Heaven to Betsy. <laughs> but I ordered that one. This is a four weight. Okay. These, like I said, they have um, it's a 100% acrylic, 174 yards. I just love them colors. So, I got two skeins of that. So, y'all, yeah, I really went off the deep end. I went from, I'm not going to order no yarn this year to order yarn. But, you know what? It made me happy. It makes me happy. So, I just got to be a good girl, don't I? I got to stop. I got to stop being so naughty. 
So, um, <clears throat> yeah. And so this morning I ordered me three books. I guess they were on sale on Amazon. Got three for, you know, a good price. So, anyway, I got to, I got to slow down right now, you know. Um, I, got, I got to put a lid on it. <laughs> but I wanted them books. They'd just been calling me. And so, one of, two of them is, um, I think the sequels to the one Miriam got me. Yeah, that's right. And then the other one is another one about dolls. <clears throat> so, you know, it makes me happy. So I'm I'm going to just enjoy it. I really am. Uh, I'm off work today, so I'm going to enjoy my day off. Um, I need to cut this yard because we've got so much rain. And my husband's out of town right now, so he's not coming home for a few weeks. And but it's so wet out there, y'all. I don't think I'm going to cut it. It's cold. The wind's blowing. You know, we've had a lot of wind. We've had a lot of rain the last couple of days. And um, I guess I'm going let it, to let it ride for a few more. <clears throat> we need some. We need the sun to dry some of this up. We're going to be hotter in this summer, you know, because it's going to be a drought. You know, it's going to be hotter than a firecracker. <clears throat> we'll be wanting the rain. But, you know, we've been getting a lot of rain. I'm just glad we've not been getting a lot of, you know, thunder clappers. I don't like that. Of course, that wind was blowing real good last night, all throughout the night. And when, usually when that happens, I got a lot of limbs in the yard and that kind of stuff. But um, I'm just not going to get out there and mess with them because I don't want them. I'm off today. I'm resting this knee because when I'm working, I'm in constant agony. I got my hours cut back, so that's good. And um, I, I know I'm probably going to work the next two days. So today I'm going to rest. i got to go to town and get a few things. But other than that, <clears throat> I'm just not going to push it. Well, I got this tag I'm going to do. But I'm at 32 minutes. And I don't know if y'all want to stick around for that tag. So I may make another video and post it later, y'all. I'm afraid I'm a little long-winded. So I don't want to run everybody off. I appreciate all y'all, though, that's coming by, you know, and sticking with me. And anybody that's come along and started watching, I appreciate you. And uh, I thank you for stopping in. And I love your comments. So uh, if you got anything you're working on that you're uh, enjoying right now, if you got any yarn frustrations, let's just talk about them, you know. <clears throat> I think my main frustration now is just uh, so many so many things to do in so little time and I get wrapped up in my shows and stuff like that and I slept last night when I got off work yesterday I was tired and I sat in my chair and I did several cat naps because I don't know when you have to work through pain when you finally get a chance to rest I just I just go slap out so then I went to bed early so but I feel pretty good right now I'm not standing on my feet you know so um I'm happy about that, but I'm going to get off here, and um, I um, I guess I'll talk to you in the next video, whenever that is. Um, like I said, I want to do that tag, because Miss Marsha at Mamie Mates Keepsakes was so kind to tag me in it, and I want to do that. Um, also, I want to give a shout out. Um, Y'all need to go over and watch Miss Cheryl at um, Curly Moose Crochet. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll, I'll link her down there and I uh, send her some love and send her some subscribers y'all because she's a sweet person She lives out in California and I love watching her. She's like me. She don't get on all the time But when she does I just love listening to her And uh, so um, I want y'all to just go over there and show her some love. I'll link her down there below and um, but I'm gonna hop off here and um, See if I can get my little mess cleaned up and get in there and sit down and do me some rows <laughs> And work on Tudor fans. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.